Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're taking a look at the Scoob, Blue Falcon, and Muttley. Seriously? We're doing this now. Ooh, is it him? Is it him? Yep. So, as I said today, we're looking at Blue Falcon and Muttley from the new movie Scoob. As you can see on the front, there's Shaggy and Scoob. Collect them all. The uh, punch out for the pegs actually looks like a dog bone. <laughs> and as you can say, see, it says basic fun there. Visit scoobselfie.com to unlock exclusive content. And there's the warning down below. This is for ages three and up. On the back, we have collect them all, Shaggy and Dino Mutt, Super Scoob and Dick Dastardly, Scooby and Captain Caveman, Scoob, Blue Falcon, and Muttley. Scoob brings the Mystery Inc. gang together with beloved members of the Hanna-Barbera universe in an epic adventure that delivers a heartfelt message of power and friendship and what it means to truly belong. So anyway, guys, there's the back. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. He likes to make an entrance. Ladies and gentlemen, since the dawn of time, the fountain has been worshipped as a symbol of freedom and victory. Now, a new kind of falcon rules the sky, and he is one bad mama. Gemma. All right, so as you guys can see here, I'm having had a little bit of trouble getting Muttley to stand. Um, <clears throat> he's just too front heavy because of his big snout there. Um, they really should have gave him a stand to come with. And it, for those of you who have seen the movie Scoob, you'll know that Muttley appears at the towards the very end spoilers <laughs> um, he's hinted at all through the uh, movie and finally makes an appearance alongside Dick Dastardly who is the main villain of the movie now I grew up on Hanna-Barbera cartoons they were some of my favorite cartoons back in the day <clears throat> and I'm glad we finally got some action figures based on the on the characters um even if the blue falcon figure isn't the real the original blue falcon uh for those of you who haven't seen the movie again spoilers this is the original blue falcon's son taking up the mantle for his father that's why he looks different than he did back in the uh, Hanna barbera cartoons uh, Mully was always one of my favorite characters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I always loved his little uh, laugh. Uh, kind of like a smoker's laugh. <laughs> but anyway, his head can rotate all the way around. And he's hunchbacked, so it's not straight on his shoulders. He's, it's kind of off you know down a little bit more as you can see his arms also rotate all the way around you have to kind of turn his head in order to get him over the shoulder as you can see his snout there kind of hinders it a bit and then his ear also hinders this side uh, this side's a little bit better but not much his feet can actually rotate 180 degrees and this is a really good likeness of Muttley I have to say I'm pretty impressed uh, his tail is not it does not articulate at all uh, I do wish they would have uh, included a display stand for Muttley uh, I know this is a children's toy but I'd actually kind of like to display him uh, just because I'm a big Hanna-Barbera fan. Uh, so anyway, there's Muttley. And 
I have to, I, I, again, I really like how they designed Muttley. He looks just like the old Hanna-Barbera cartoons. They didn't change him up too much. Uh, not as much as they did with Blue Falcon and uh, Dick Dastardly. So anyway, let's move on to Blue Falcon. And his cape is made out of a rubber, a very soft, lightweight rubber, which might easily tear, uh, especially at the points down here. Uh, and it is actually glued into the crest. Uh, and the crest is a separate piece that's glued onto the chest. Uh, the paint here, as you can see, they didn't do that great on the paint application. Uh, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I do like all the detail they gave to Blue Falcon, all the gold around the edges. Uh, again, the paint isn't that crisp, but I mean, what do you expect for a children's toy? Uh, this isn't for the adult collector, really, uh, even though this video is for the adult collector and for parents. Um, <clears throat> this is a children's toy. Uh, there's really no no easy way around it. Uh, his head can go side to side, uh, but it does have trouble going all the way around because of his chin. As you can see here, if, if the cape wasn't on, I'm sure it could go all the way around. But with the cape being there, it's unable to. Uh, his arms do go all the way around. There is no bend at the elbow or at the shoulder. Uh, no articulation at the wrist either. Uh, same for the other side. He has no waist articulation. His legs go up to there. Uh, they go back about that far. As you can see, his butt does hinder it. Uh, there is a knee joint right there. But no ankle articulation. Um, the, the cool thing is that the knee is on a ball joint, so it can rotate around just like that, as well as bend. And that's the same for both sides. So anyway, there you have it, guys. I would like to go ahead and get the other figures in this line. Uh, and just for comparisons, let's see how... Blue Falcon stands up to the Toonie Terrors, Freddy Krueger, and Jason Voorhees. I have to say, those look pretty good together. Uh, yeah, I mean, Jason is a little bit taller than Blue Falcon. Um, not too much taller. I, I have to say, I really like this display. Uh, I can't wait to get the other uh, Scooby figure, Scoob figures uh, and put them all together. Maybe get a few more of the Toonie Terrors figures and display them together. I think that would be really nice. Uh, and then here he is with Muttley. In fact, we'll prop Muttley up against Freddy Krueger. <laughs> And Muttley could be Freddy's dog. <laughs> so anyway, there you have it, guys. This has been the Blue Falcon and Muttley figures from the new Scoob movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's a great movie. The only problems I had with it were the voice for Shaggy. They really should have got Matthew Lillard to reprise the role. Because um, the voice for Shaggy... I, that wasn't Shaggy. That was not Shaggy Rogers at all. Um, other than that, every, all the other characters were uh, performed great. Um, I would have liked to see the OG Blue Falcon in it. Uh, I would have liked to see more of Muttley. But he's a huge plot point for Dick Dastardly. On why Dick Dastardly is doing what he's doing. <clears throat> So there you have it, my friends. 
Blue Falcon and Muttley from the movie Scoob. I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.